A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video you will learn how to install Oracle Application Express with Oracle REST Data Services. Since the release of Apex 18, each release requires a full installation, so there is no concept of patching anymore. This simplifies the approach greatly. Installing Oracle Apex on your own PC is a 4 steps process, and this video will demonstrate all these steps. So let's get started. First of all we are going to install Oracle Apex. Execute the steps in the provided sequence to download, install, and configure Oracle Apex. Download the Apex software from this link. The link is also available in the video description below. Unzip the downloaded file in a folder, for example, in C colon backslash Apex. Create a new table space to act as the default table space for Apex. Open a command prompt and change directory to the directory holding the unzipped Apex software. In this tutorial, the software is extracted in C colon backslash Apex. On the same command prompt, type SQL plus and hit enter. On the SQL prompt, use the connect command to connect to SQL plus as the SYS user. After connecting as SYS user, run the apexins.sql script, specifying the relevant tablespace names and image URL. This process will take some time. Once the Apex installation process completes, change the admin password by running the apexchpwd.sql script after connecting as the SYS user. Create Apex underscore listener and Apex underscore rest underscore public underscore user users by running Apex underscore rest underscore config.sql script. This completes the Apex software installation process. Next. We're going to download and install Oracle REST Data Services, which is also called ORTS. Oracle REST Data Services, formerly known as the Apex Listener, allows Apex applications to be deployed without the use of Oracle HTTP Server, OHS, and mod underscore PLSQL or the embedded PLSQL gateway. Oracle REST Data Services makes it easy to develop modern REST interfaces for relational data in the Oracle database. REST that stands for Representational State Transfer is an architectural style for developing web services. The Oracle Application Express architecture requires some form of web server to proxy requests between a web browser and the Oracle Application Express engine. Oracle REST Data Services satisfies this need but its use goes beyond that of Oracle Application Express configurations. It offers increased functionality including a command line based configuration enhanced security, file caching, and RESTful web services. Oracle REST Data Services also provides increased flexibility by supporting deployments using Oracle WebLogic Server, Apache Tomcat, and a standalone mode. In this part of the video you will be guided to install ORDS on Apache Tomcat to access Oracle Apex. Execute the following command on SQL prompt to unlock Apex public user account. Download and install 64-bit JDK using this link. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the JDK. The link is also available in the video description below. Download Oracle REST Data Services from this link. The link is also provided in the video description. Create a folder and extract Oracle REST Data Services zip file, for example, d colon backslash ORDS. Install ORDS using advanced installation using command line prompts as follows. Open a command prompt, switch to Java folder, and type the command shown in the blue color. Then, complete the prompts as follows. 
In this tutorial we are using manager underscore 2021 as the password for every account. However, you can use different complex passwords. Next, we are going to deploy Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat is one of the most popular web server and servlet container for Java code. It is an open source project and is used for web applications written in Java that don't require full Java Enterprise Edition specifications, but still need a reliable tool. Here are the steps to download and install Apache Tomcat. Download Apache Tomcat using this URL. The link is available in video description. Once you are on the website, select 32-bit slash 64-bit Windows Service Installer. After downloading Apache Tomcat Installer, invoke the .exe file and select Normal for the installation type. On the configuration screen, set 4 times 8 for HTTP connector port. Enter admin for both username and password and complete the installation process. In the final steps of this installation process you need to copy the contents of the Apex Images folder to the web server. Secondly, you have to create a Windows Firewall rule to allow access to Oracle Apex on the specified port. Once these configurations are in place, you can access Oracle Apex. Here are these final steps. Copy the contents of the Apex Images folder to Apache's I folder. If the I folder doesn't exist, create it under the Web Apps folder and copy the contents. Copy ords.war file from the D drive to the Web Apps folder. Create a Windows Firewall rule to allow access to the specified port. Finally, log into Oracle Apex. In a network, replace localhost with the IP address or server name. Enter internal, admin, and manager underscore 2021 in the login screen. Note that in this tutorial we set manager underscore 2021 as password, 
so we are using this password to access the admin workspace. That's it. Hope this video was informative. If you liked it, then please give it a thumb up and also subscribe to Tech Mining to get more informative videos like this. Thank you for watching.